for me, honesty is the best policy. So I see to it that whenever I deal with people, I'm always honest. That's why I chose DXN. DXN represents honesty and that represents the qualities that I have now. That's why I'm successful. So in choosing the right company for me, I believe stability should be there, integrity should be there, and there should be uh, prosperity incorporated within their principle. The system is so good. Anybody can do it. If I can, then anybody can. I'm an ordinary person. I'm as ordinary as anybody can be. But what is extraordinary in my life is the way I live it. I'm living a life. I'm not just surviving. The one project which I'm really proud of myself in, uh, in my, during my career of uh, uh, 14 years in DXN was the opening of DXN Pakistan. I talked to Dr. Lim. Dr. Lim told, go ahead. So we established Pakistan in uh, 2007. And today DXN Pakistan is one of the best performing branches of DXN in the whole world. Ganodermát már ismertük, a Ganodermás kávét is, és az interneten kerestem, hogy melyik is lehet a legprofit cég a piacon, a legjobb cég. És így találkoztam sok más cég mellett a DXN nevével is. Az interneten keresztül az jött rá, hogy valószínűleg a DXM volt az első, aki elindította ezt a folyamatot, Ganoderma, kávé együtt. Látszott azt, hogy, hogy régóta a piacon van. Ez nekem akkor nem volt elég. Személyesen szerettem volna erről meggyőződni. 2008 nyarán, amikor leszálltam a repülővel, akkor repülőtéren szembe jött velem egy nagy óriás plakát, hogy a DXM a legnagyobb emelem exportőre. Amikor bementem a szállodába, Kolumpurba akkor levettem egy turisztikai prospektust Kedak tartományról, hogy a DX-nek a központja van, és az volt benne, hogy a, látogassa meg a világ legnagyobb ganoderma ütetvényét. Én azt gondolom, hogy a DXN lehetőséget biztosít a hálózatépítői számára, és nem elvárásokat támaszt feléjük. Mindenki saját magára szabva tudja ezt az üzletet építeni. Látom azt, hogy ennek a cégnek nem fontosak a külsőségek. Tehát ez nem egy marketing alapú cég a mai túlmarketingezett világban. Itt emberi értékek vannak, egy nagyon stabilitásra törekvő, vízió van, és azt mondtam, hogy igen, ebben hasonlítunk egymásra is, és én, és én ezt, a, ezt a családot keresem. We have one philosophy. I mean, human being is human being. Okay, we should not differentiate people from A to B because of the religions, because of the color of the skin, because of the religious. 
I still remember, no, when we started in this uh, Dubai, Dubai, so that the Pakistani member and the Indian member, to me they look alike, you know, but they sit into two different area and they, they do not communicate with each other. Then I'm telling them, when you join the XN, there's no Malaysian, uh, there's no Indian, there's no European, there's only one type of people in the XN, that is the free people. It's a family. DXN is a family. We are part of the family. It's a global family. We have more than 5 million members across the globe. So we are part of them. Though we are from the management side, we all work together in this company for achieving the common mission of health, wealth and happiness. So the relationship is like we are part of the family. The trust, the teamwork that we have been um, uh, cultured from day one till today. So whatever we are, all right, the teams are here, ready, let's go, let's do it. Um, so this is something which I, I feel I cannot get anywhere else uh, besides in the XM. This company is a father. Sometimes this company is a son. Why? Because uh, father would always uh, you know, take care of you and uh, raise you up. But at the same time, we always have some expectation on you. Uh, so this is how I feel. The company, uh, I make a living here and I earn the money to support my family. And, but at the same time, I have some duty and responsibility to this company. But at the same time, I also see this company as my, my son uh, because we need to put our effort, we need to contribute to, to, raise, it, to raise him you know, to become a better man. The one incident uh, which really made me proud about uh, DXN and our operation was a few years ago, uh, we, have, we were doing very good business in Sudan. And when Sudan was separated, we were badly affected. The whole country was badly affected. And the situation was so hard that the country does not have foreign currency. And for us to import the goods, we have to send the for, give the foreign currency. Um, and it was a very pathetic situation. We have to give the money to the bank, and bank does not have foreign currency. They cannot send to 